Hello and welcome to this overview session of the Level 5 Diploma in Education and Training. During this session, you are going to learn more about the 8 optional modules that are part of this level. This qualification covers the knowledge and skills required by both teachers and trainers in the further education and training skills sector. You will learn both the analytical and practical skills that are necessary in order to be able to plan, deliver and assess inclusive teaching and learning. You will also learn key theories and principles in the education and training sector and how to apply those in real life. In order to qualify, you will need to obtain 120 credits in total and you can do so by completing the four mandatory units and selecting a few of the optional units. The mandatory units are theories, principles and models in education and training, teaching, learning and assessment in education and training, developing teaching, learning and assessment in education and training, and the final mandatory unit is professional practice in education and training. Now, these units are mandatory. What that means is that you have to complete them. The optional units are eight in total and you can select which units you would like to complete in order to achieve 120 credits. The optional units are action research, Develop and prepare resources for learning and development. Developing using and organizing resources in a specialist area. Equality and diversity. Inclusive practice. Internally assure the quality of assessment. Manage learning and development in groups. And the final optional unit is understanding the principles and practices of internally assuring the quality of assessment. During this overview session, we're only going to focus on exploring each of the optional units so that you can make your choice of which units you would like to add to the mandatory units. Let's get started with the first optional unit. Unit 1. Action Research. The aim of this unit is to help you understand how to carry out action research in an area of professional practice. This unit will include understanding the nature and purpose of action research, so in a nutshell, what action research is, and how to conduct action research and how to present the outcomes. You will also learn how to evaluate your own practice in relation to action research. So what is action research? Let's take a moment to look at the definition of action, action research. Again, before we proceed further, this session gives you only a very brief overview and at the actual sessions that are part of the various units, we will dig deeper and discuss those concepts in much, much more detail, okay? So what is action research? Action research is an interactive method of collecting information which is used to explore topics of teaching, curriculum, development, and student behavior in the classroom. This is the definition that I have taken from Levitas and McAllister, and they are both quite well-known practitioners and researchers within that field. So during the actual sessions that are part of this unit, we are going to focus on understanding what action research really is in much more depth. But here, just an example so that you know what to expect from this particular unit. What is the purpose of action research? Very briefly here again, the purpose is to inspire self-reflection of your own practice so that you can continue improving as a teacher or as a trainer. You will be acting as a researcher of your own practice and performance so that you can continue to improve. During this 
optional unit, we are also going to look at some key models. So there is an element of theory included in the unit as well. And just to give you an example, I have included here one of the most popular models when it comes to action research, and that is the Circle of Action and Reflection by Altrichter, Porsche and Sommet. This cyclical approach to action research gives you an opportunity to take action and explore an area of your own practice, then collect data, which you can then interpret and evaluate, and draw conclusions and think of how you could improve based on those conclusions. Think about what areas you could change or perhaps you could improve. And that is why there is an element of reflection as well. So action research is very much about reflecting on your own practice and on your own performance. And again, identifying how this could improve, which when you think about being a teacher or a trainer, continuous improvement is a key part of you being successful in that role because the trends are constantly changing and this um, this unit action research is actually going to prepare you practically not just theoretically to face the demands of a real life job during this unit you also talk about the methods of conducting action research now there are many methods that we are going to explore but just to give you an example of a few of the most effective ones that you could be using in your own practice that it, these are recording a session or a training intervention that you can listen to you could also ask someone to observe your performance or you could observe the performance of one of your colleagues for instance if you're working as a teacher or as a trainer and then evaluating their performance thinking of how you could uh, what you have learned and how you could incorporate some of those key learnings into your own practice taking notes again using those notes as a means of reflecting on your performance and improving you could also use interviews and service those service you could send to your um, students or your to your delegates if you're a trainer so there are a lot of ways in which you could actually conduct action research these are just a few of the methods that we will be exploring in more detail during the sessions that are part of unit one then when it comes to conducting action research once again let's have a look at the steps very briefly that action research involve in practical terms so the very first step that you will be taking is identifying an area of your action research so which area of your practice you want to explore then again coming back to the cycle of um, action research that i just showed you a couple of moments ago that key piece of theory here we're actually putting in in practice so then we are initiating action we are conducting the research which was the very first step from the cyclical model of action research then the third step is to analyze the data that you have obtained adopting one of the methods that you saw on the previous slide or adopting other methods that you are going to learn as part of this unit and then reporting your own findings and conclusions and planning opportunities to improve your own skills. So here you could see practical way, you could use some of the theories and really think about how you could be improving us as teachers, as trainers, as practitioners within the training and education sector.